Many people these days celebrate the holiday season by putting up lights or other decorations. However, one Northeast Missouri family thinks outside the box when it comes to celebrating Christmas. Kathleen and David Hauser of Milan put on an annual Christmas display that is made of hay bales. So we wanted to know how much work goes into creating this display each year. It took approximately two days. That's with three of us. I have two sons and uh, that's with them guys running the loaders and stacking the hay and piling the hay and putting Christmas decorations on. And, and me telling you how to straighten everything up. And so. also this year we built a special screen to do a hologram. It's the first time we ever done that. And uh, we have really good results and made it special this year. The display is located on the west side of Highway 129, just 10 miles south of Green City. It is best to view the display at dusk, or later. With the amount of effort the Housers put into this display, we wanted to know what their inspiration behind it is. What we try to do each year is try to figure out what idea we want and then put a, be able to put a smile on everybody's face that comes by. And usually the evening time is when they can see it the best. And especially this year with all the trying times with COVID, we just wanted to put an extra special smile on everybody's face for Christmas. New to the display this year is a fireplace mantle that shows a three-minute hologram video. The video is of elves starting a fireplace fire, then putting it out to check to see if the coast is clear for Santa. With the hologram video being a new feature to the display, we wonder what the housers have up their sleeves in the future. We're going to add to the hologram scene next year with our hay bale designs. Yeah, we've got a couple years worth of ideas to, to try new things out here to help make everybody put a smile. If you need a little joy and hope to end this crazy year, be sure to check out this unique Christmas display. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Matt Gunn.